it's your girl Maddie, aka Mad Juice, back with your August taroscopes. These are some of my favorite readings. I love hearing your feedback on them. And if you've never sat for one of these readings before, let me tell you what you can expect a little bit. I'm gonna pull three cards for you based on your zodiac sign. We're gonna pull a tarot card that's gonna really speak about like the energy around you that you can tap into and be aware of for the month ahead. I'm gonna pull one card that's like a soul-based self-care card of what you need, just you, not the outside world, how you take care of this. And then the third card we pull from our deck that we make here at the Cosmic RX, notes from your higher self. And this is just a sassy little love note. Think of it like a text message from your higher self. Something to keep in mind for the month ahead. And I also recommend checking these for your zodiac sun sign, but also for your rising or ascendant sign, okay? To get your full scope of what the vibe will be for the month ahead. Let's get started. Okay, so what does this mean for my Cancers and Cancer Risings? Let's see what August has in store for my mystical moonbeams. Let's see, okay. Okay, Cancer, so your tarot card for the month ahead is the Seven of Cups. So the Seven of Cups, Cancer, we know you're naturally a dreamy, intuitive, creative person. It's part of your superpower. You're connected to the moon. But Seven of Cups is reminding you this month just to stay a little bit grounded in reality. Okay, the Seven of Cups is when life can become a little bit like maybe something feels too good to be true because it is, or maybe you're kind of feeling in like a fog, or maybe you need to have that discernment and clarity really like locked on just to make sure that no one's trying to pull one over on you. The Seven of Cups is like you're ruled by the moon, like I just said. And the moon is great. The moon, we can't see things by moonlight as clearly as daylight. So we have to trust into that inner knowing, that inner feeling. I want you to trust into that. If something feels foggy or vague or confusing this month, less focus on the outer world. Take time to tap into that inner, that inner knowing place, okay? And let's see, Cancer Rising, let's see what your word is, your soul-centered self-care message for the month. The word you're focusing on, ooh, synchronicity with two dolphins exploding over a crystal. I like that bag. It says, your prayers and questions are being answered by synchronistic events. Notice them in order to increase their flow. So I love this. We pulled the tarot card and then the universe comes right back with a clap back response. If you're sitting there like, how Maddie, how am I gonna have a discernment? Trust, trust the patterns you're seeing. If you're going through something and you need some guidance and you feel super confused, again, focusing less on the outside world and people around you and their opinions, thoughts, and chatter, more on yeah, do you keep noticing the same number over and over again? Do you keep having the same song come on the radio? Are you having these random coincidences following you? Air quotes. Pay attention. These are breadcrumbs from the universe and they're leading you to the right decision. Okay, so we're gonna trust that. And let's see what your note from your higher self is. A little sassy text from your highest, hottest self. Okay, it says, give it the time it needs. Okay, Cancer, I'm noticing a trend. There's a trend already going in August. August is a month for rest and making space and enjoying that Leo season, fire, creativity, play, pleasure. So if you're healing from something and you wanna rush it, just give it the time it needs and make time to enjoy yourself. If you have a project and you're just feeling like it's hitting a stagnant point, it's not stagnant, it just needs a little rest and so do you, okay? So give it the time it needs. 